right, so check it out. I got myself, finally, I got myself a tripod. Goes up to 62 inches tall. Super excited, let's go ahead and test this out. So, something like this. And then it has like these little notches here where you can kind of extend it on how high you want the uh, thing to be. So, let me put this down. This is it right here. It's not even at the highest setting either. This is, it can go higher than this. This is the fit, we got the champion jacket on. Um, I got some Gymshark shorts. Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. Presser Mike here. Today's video, I'm gonna go over the top five things I hate about this F-150. Now, hate is a strong word. I would say dislike when it comes to this F-150 because I absolutely love it. But there's some things that Ford implemented into this F-150 that I just cannot stand. Let's go ahead and jump right inside the vehicle first. So going inside the vehicle, the first thing that just absolutely is like, what are you doing? Is this auto stop start. So for those of you who don't know what auto stop start is, is when your car or truck gets to a full stop, the car will turn off. And it's supposed to save um, gas and everything, but I hate when I'm driving and I stop, the car turns off and I have to step on the gas again to, to and the car will turn on again. Number one, it's really embarrassing when I'm at a stop sign and then my truck turns off and it turns back on when I move. And I know people are like, what just happened? Like, did he just stall? What is that? What's, what's wrong with this truck? Like, I know people are like, what was that? And then also, um, another thing is, it, I feel like it's, it's just, it's not good for the engine. Like starting the truck up like 20 times, like as you're driving, like, like let's say you drive for like an hour, right? You're gonna at least, it's gonna at least turn off like 20 times at every stop you get to. So it cannot be good for the starter. I mean, to turn your car off, every, like it's basically turn the car off 20 times every time you drive and you drive every day. Like it's just, it's just not good. And then lastly, like, let's say you're at a stop sign or you're at a red light and like, or you're, you're at some kind of parking and you just need to get out quickly. Well, so there's been times where I'm at a stop sign and all of a sudden the truck turns off and then I have to get out of the way quickly to move or get to the other lane. And like the truck has to turn on again and then the throttle response has to kick in and then it takes like two to three seconds just to get all that going. And then it finally like gets in the gear and it goes. But like, that is not safe. Like that cannot be safe. I do not know why Ford decided that this was a good idea. And it may not just be Ford, but why do you need this? Like, please let me know in the comment section why this would be a good idea. There's people complaining about it all the time on the F-150 forums. You've got people doing the auto stop start eliminator. you got people um, putting a trailer hitch on to think that the, like trick the um, truck thinking that it's towing. So the auto stop start turns off. you got people draining the battery on purpose so that the auto stop start uh, would turn off and disable. Like it's just a mess. Number two, going to the outside is halogen bulbs. And I talk about this all the time, but it just doesn't make any sense. You have a 2018 F-150 or just any car in the 21st century. This thing is about, it's like a $40,000 truck. Yet you're putting halogen bulbs. I had halogen in the headlights, the fog lights, the tag lights, the um, license plate, or I listed license plate light, the cargo lights and the reverse brake light, all halogen bulbs. And yes, I get it. this is a base model truck, but it's still 40 something thousand dollars of, of value. So if you're gonna make a $40,000 truck, why are we still putting cheap bulbs? And speaking of a $40,000 truck and also a 2018, this leads me to number three is it came with a two foot tall factory antenna like we're in 1999. Don't know what's going on with that. So I decided it'd be a better idea to put this bullet antenna, put a link in the description where you go to check this out, it's about 30 bucks on Amazon. And that was just a way better option than the two foot tall factory antenna. Every time I go in, I know if I were to go into a, a parking garage, it'd be like hitting the top of the pillars, whack, like wiggling and stuff. It's just like what a mess, absolute mess. Putting that bullet antenna or just a shorty antenna, a stubby antenna, just makes the truck look just more of its year, 2018. And, they, and they've been doing this, and they're on the 2021s, they still got 2022s. And I'm actually happy that they decided that they were gonna get rid of the prop rod like I had in the Mustang. So I do have a hydraulic hood that stays up without a prop rod in my Mustang. That was like the, one of the things that I hated about that was the prop rod. And I'm glad the F-150s do not have that. All right, number four, what I hate about this F-150 is, it makes a lot of weird noises. And I took it to Ford and they recalibrated the ECM. They said there was nothing wrong with it, but just driving it, it the, the, I don't know what's going on, but the engine has still has ticking. 
does like a weird fluttering when it starts up in a cold start. It um, like some kind of chain is rattling. It and Ford, like I said, says nothing wrong. It's just like these engines make weird noises. So the truck makes weird noises. The truck's got eighty thousand miles on it. Have never had a problem with it. Knock on wood. Um, and so it's been it's been normal, but just like the weird sounds that it makes, like really like has me paranoid sometimes because I think like the truck is like dying or I think like the truck is um, was not built right and is it, is it a lemon and I'm like literally like stressing so much about it but it just like has to go and I, I don't, I'm not sure if this is the 5.0s but I know my 5.0 and I can vouch for a couple other people on the internet that these 5.0 uh, V8 engines on the F-150 make a lot of weird noises and so I wasn't gonna go with an EcoBoost because I, I had a V6 Mustang uh, I, I, I love the sound of the raw V8 power, so wanted the 5.0 engine. Um, didn't want to have to worry about uh, turbos leaking oil, all that crap. Want naturally aspirated, super easy to work on kind of truck. So went with the 5.0, but just making a lot of weird noises. And number five, what I hate or I guess dislike about my F-150 is the five and a half foot bed. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the aesthetic look of it, but I guess it's just a little not practical because it's a little too short and the six and a half foot is just too long. Like if they had a six foot bed, it'd just be perfect. Cause I was hauling a, a, a couch the other day and like the couch is barely fit in here with the uh, with the hood closed. I mean, technically I could have the, uh, the uh, tailgate down and then strap it up. Um, but I had the tailgate up and strapped up. It barely, barely fit. And so the five and a half foot bed is just a little bit too short. And the six and a half foot bed is just a little too long to make it like really aesthetically pleasing. Cause like, I like the, um, the length of the truck and the six and a half foot bed with tow mirrors would make it look like an F-250. Um, but just like if they had like a middle ground, like six foot, it would just be perfect. I know like the Tundras do it. Um, not sure why Ford does five and a half or six and a half. They should do six and six and a half. If you have a uh, reason on why they do that, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear why they do that. All right, guys, so there you go. That's the top five things I hate about this F-150. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. If you're wondering what I've done to this truck, I have a link in the description to all the mods done to the truck so far. And like I said, just the top five that, you know, I kind of found that I hate about the F-150. And I don't really hate it. It's just like some small inconveniences. A lot of them have been already been fixed, like the halogen bulbs and the LEDs, the, um, the antenna, just going to the bullet antenna. Um, and just like some small stuff like that to kind of make it better um, than what it was before. But if you guys have these issues, like I said, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comment section. It was really hard to make this video because I have this like really nothing that I hate about the F-150. So I love it. I'm going to have it for a long time. Um, other than that, y'all, until next video, peace.